subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Click on the different amounts of energy to be supplied to Marble A. Then, click on the Start button and observe what happens when different amount of energy is supplied to Marble A. Why do different amounts of energy supplied produce different results? Let's look at an analogy of a person trying to push a big rock over a small hill. The rock needs a certain amount of energy to overcome the barrier. This is also true for a chemical reaction. A reaction occurs only as a result of the collision between particles with a correct orientation and a minimum energy to overcome the energy barrier called the activation energy. This minimum energy is required to enable chemical bonds to be broken and formed as the reaction goes on. Thus, activation energy is the energy needed for a chemical reaction to take place. The following simulations show how activation energy is related to how fast a reaction occurs. Click on each box to observe how fast the reaction occurs. If the chemical reaction has high activation energy, only a small number of collisions between the reactants can overcome the high activation energy. This will result in a small number of products produced per unit time. So, the reaction goes on very slowly. On the other hand, if the activation energy is low, a larger number of particles have enough energy to react, so the reaction goes on very fast. This means different types of chemical reactions have different EA values. So what are the properties of activation energy? Fast reactions have low EA values. Slow reactions have high EA values. Different types of chemical reactions have different EA values. The value of EA is specific. Let us follow the progress of the reaction between A and B to produce C. As the particles A and B collide, they can either bounce off each other or form a product C. As the particles approach each other, there is little change in their total energy until they collide, as can be seen from the energy curve. If the particles bounce off each other, they do not have enough energy to overcome the activation energy. Their energy rises part of the way but falls back. They still remain as reactants. If the particles reacted, they must have collided with a correct orientation and enough energy to overcome the minimum energy required, that is, the activation energy. In the diagram, the height of this minimum energy above the original height of the reactants is the activation energy level for the reaction. The diagram showing the energy curve of the reactants throughout the reaction is referred to as the energy profile diagram. Let's look at some examples. Magnesium in a magnesium ribbon is made up of magnesium atoms and oxygen in the air is made up of oxygen molecules. The oxygen molecules in the air collide with the outermost layer of magnesium molecules in the magnesium ribbon. During a collision, if there is insufficient energy or incorrect orientation, the molecules bounce off each other and no reaction occurs. When the oxygen and magnesium molecules collide with enough energy, this will cause the formation of a product, which is magnesium oxide. The formation of magnesium oxide changes the colour of the magnesium ribbon from silverish white to white. Now, let's see if we can draw another energy profile diagram based on the information given. Particles A and B have an average energy content of 500 kJ. A minimum energy gain of 250 kJ by the reactants can produce C. C has an average energy content of 300 kJ. Now, let's draw the energy profile diagram. 
Particles A and B have an average energy content of 500 kJ. Click on the corresponding energy level on the energy axis of the energy profile diagram. A minimum energy gain of 250 kJ by the reactants can produce C. Click on the corresponding energy level on the energy axis of the energy profile diagram. C has an average energy content of 300 kJ. Click on the corresponding energy level on the energy axis of the energy profile diagram. Activation energy is the minimum energy required for a chemical reaction to take place. For a chemical reaction to take place, the reactants must collide with the correct orientation and have equal or more energy than the activation energy. Examples of energy profile diagrams for chemical reaction. This diagram shows a reaction with low activation energy, while this diagram shows a reaction with high activation energy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.